the Lord says to warn you about this child. The Lord says to warn you about this child. There is a child that is being mishandled. The Lord said it comes at a heavy penalty. Believe it or not, you're mishandling, you're mishandling somebody who the Lord is going to open the earth and swallow you for. This child has a purpose. This child is a chosen. This child is going through too much and it is angering the Lord to strike with death. Parent, guardian, those who facilitate aunties and uncles, be careful not to man handle that unique child that annoy you. Mm -hmm. They don't eat like everybody else eat. They don't move like the rest of children move. They don't play like the rest of children play. They annoy you the way they do things annoy you because they just don't act like the rest of children. You have been neglecting this child. I see this child in a bed and this child is too small to be in such a high bed. The bed is like a bunk bed. I don't know. And the child is sleeping and he's crying himself to sleep because they can't bother with him. Nobody in the can bother with him. Pick him, eat, pick him. Him, him, this, him, him, too, him too unique and them can't bother with him and they're ignoring him. And more than one adult around this person. When he touch night, them just left him in the dark room and him in there scared. And they lock him in there and he cries. He cries himself to sleep. I saw this child and him head. He just hang him head, him fall asleep and the tears wet on his face. Half wet, half dry. And it's like, I went there to hug him and I was feeding him because they're not feeding him. Them can't bother with him picky. Them can't bother him, him, him is a special boy who needs special care. And they can't bother with him because they don't like the parent. They can't bother the parent. They're taking out their dislike of the parent on the child. And let me tell you something. The warning where God give me about this. Me get up in the night and me pray and me cry. Because it's a wicked thing. It's not the first I'm seeing something like this, you know. The Lord is so angry. It's like the Lord wants to strike somebody with death. Because they abuse the person, they are trying to cover up the, the, the abuse they did. The, the abuse they did. And then on top of that, you know, say so for example, you did do something wrong and you're sorry. But on top of them not sorry. Them does not act like them have all control and God not real. And you talk about God like God can't do nothing. And God is getting angrier and angrier. And angrier is like God wants to send one of them God, God dead dogs. It's like God just want to make one of them drop down. Like literally the anger that God is developing. It's like one of them might be walking and just drop down dead. Don't you know the Lord loves children? Ah. I decree the devil that is influencing this wickedness. Can somebody come in agreement with me? And so the devil influencing this wickedness fall down and die. Die by fire in Jesus' name as I repent. Die in Jesus' name. And I pray the Lord sends the spirits in people and soften the hearts of people towards our children and the children of this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is not pretty and God is so angry. <laughs> he said, the last time I saw God in this anger, he showed me an RIP sign. The person, it showed it to me in December and the person did not leave January, to see January. They don't understand and it's like they're saying, oh, it's like they believe it's just you and you just a talk, talk. But if you were to sit down and tell them that girl and boy, it's not talk. <laughs> I just pray they repent and change because when God step in, <laughs> there's nothing that can pull them out. And they're creating the worst judgment for themselves. Sixteen dot the Lord eight. Seven is an abomination to the Lord. A heart that devises evil. A lying tongue. 
and hands that shed innocent blood among others. Hmm. 